Arkansas really is. Welcome to Josh's Garage. If you're a subscriber, you probably already know about uh, the accident I had last fall in which this table saw right here took this block right here and chucked it into my left eye. The, the saw kicked back and unfortunately I was wearing safety glasses all morning but I came out in the afternoon to make one last cut and that was the fatal moment. Since then I've had two surgeries, maybe one more on the way. The good news is it's turned back into an eyeball, uh, kind of. Uh, the bad news is I can't see very much out of it. I can see about 10% and it's totally blurry. So I've been wondering since the accident, how fast was that block traveling? What force did it actually carry? And how dangerous is a table saw really? Well, to find that out, I need a reliable way to harness the energy of that blade. So, I devised this table saw cannon made of PVC. It's bolted to the side of the guide, clamped down in duct tape for extra reinforcement, and I've named it appropriately the Widowmaker. I'm gonna insert blanks about the same weight as the block made from one and a half inch dowels painted in the colors of the good old US of A. And the way this thing is gonna work is I'm gonna extend the blade up into the cannon chamber just enough to get a nice bite of that blank and send her flying. Yes! Now I have this radar gun here to check speed. We're gonna shoot them off into a field to check distance. And I have watermelons, bags of flour, dummies, and all kinds of stuff we're gonna blow up to check force. You ready to get started? Let's go. First, let's get nerdy for just one second. How fast do you think this thing's gonna fly? If the blade is 10 inches in diameter and spinning at 4,000 RPM, that's 10 times pi, so 31.4 inches in circumference. If the blade is 31.4 inches in circumference times 4,000, that's 125,000 inches per minute. And there are about 63,360 inches in a mile, so 125 divided by 63,360 is 1.97 miles per minute. And since there are 60 minutes in an hour, times 60 is 118.2 miles per hour. Whoa! And just to give you a frame of reference, a quarterback can throw a football at 59 miles per hour. A major league baseball bat can swing about 80 miles per hour. An arrow from a recurve bow flies about 150 miles per hour. And an arrow or BB flying at that speed can pierce skin. And one flying at about 200 miles per hour can break bone. And the softer orbital socket bones around my eye were broken. So let's see how fast this thing flies. Oh, I need safety glasses. That would be hypocritical of me, wouldn't it? Uh. Okay, this is test number one. Look at that reading, 85 miles per hour. Let's do that a few more times. Per hour. That's faster than a bat swings. All right, after several attempts, looks like we clocked the highest speed at 89 miles per hour. Now that we know how fast this thing travels, let's calculate how far it's going to fly. Math says that with no wind, an object traveling at 89 miles per hour or 130 feet per second at a 45 degree angle of launching, starting from ground level, should fly for 5.7 seconds and a distance of 525 feet with a max height of about 131 feet. In order to get the maximum distance, we need to tilt our cannon exactly 45 degrees. So let's check that with the level here. All right, here we go. Let's try that again. Oh, 
So I don't really have a tape this long and uh, my laser meter just is invisible during the day. So I'm gonna just paste this out. 95 paces or 285 feet. That's not nearly what we calculated, but uh, there is a little bit of a wind today and these things did not fly true at all. They sort of hit the wind and started to flip through the air. And the moment you've all been waiting for. All right, let's blow some stuff up. By the way, if you like what we're doing and you haven't subscribed, you should totally do that right now. And this is what happens when you wear prescription glasses instead of safety glasses. how dangerous a table saw can be. Please use extreme caution and keep the safety equipment attached and always wear safety glasses. In the next video, we're gonna test the five best-selling safety glasses on Amazon.